Now, I think the idea behind changing the icon from Moroni to cross is to more clearly communicate that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is part of the Christian family. So if someone's trying to find a church to worship on on a Sunday and they're using Google Maps, they can more easily find the Church of Jesus Christ. What we just saw is a very big deal. I have some anecdotes, but this is a humongous deal for the Mormon church's collapse. We know that the amount of people leaving the Mormon church, staggering. Not joining in the first place like they used to, why could that be? Perceptions around what the Mormon church is and what it represents are not within its control anymore. Missionaries who normally have to wear white shirts and ties and their name tags, there's pilot programs going on where they don't have to wear a white shirt anymore. They don't have to wear their name tags anymore. They're allowed to go out in normal clothing now. Sister missionaries are allowed to wear pants now. They're trying to appear as normal as possible. And then, this is a new thing I just learned, when they're knocking doors, some missionaries are told to use their first name. Like, hi, I'm Brandon, and this is our other youth pastor from the local church, Chad. <laughs> missionaries have never, ever been allowed to use their first names, ever. It's always been Elder Williams and Sister, get me out of here. I have heard missionaries who invite people to go to Bible study, and then they introduce the Book of Mormon later on and it's like this is another testament of jesus christ <laughs> and there's some mormon churches now where they will put a sign out front saying like we have meetings at 9 and 11 and 12 and they're inviting people to go to worship services and if you saw the big concert that they uh the church put on at the delta 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 center in salt lake they had Christian artists come. They're trying to have more Christian music, worship sounding music, okay? So just like Jasmine, who runs this Pro LDS account, just said that people will be able to find the Church of Jesus Christ, where before Google Maps made this change, if you typed in Christian churches, like the LDS Church, it didn't come up, but they will be able to now type in Christian Church and find the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Now, that's just not how it used to be, and the LDS Church used to be, I believe, in its own separate category, that when you searched it, that that was not within the other Christian churches. The proposition of what the Mormon church is has failed. This is an announcement that it's failed, that now they want to just be a Christian church and not associated with Joseph Smith and money digging and polygamy and have their new uh, logo coming out. It's a figure of Jesus Christ. The Mormon church's proposition though is that there is a great apostasy and that everybody fell away and that the priest has been taken from the earth and that it was restored through Joseph Smith. You have to believe that Joseph Smith was truly a prophet called of God and that the polygamy that he implemented was of God and that the racist doctrines are from God and that all other Christian churches are an abomination. So if when Joseph was a boy asking what church was true and God the Father and Jesus Christ stood in front of him and said, you need to start your own church because all other churches are an abomination, where did that go, okay? If crosses for the longest time in Mormonism have been humongous no-nos, not on the outside of any churches, if you wore a cross necklace like my sister did to uh, my other sister's high school graduation, my mom told her to take it off. That's totally inappropriate. So here's my point though, that there's this idea that when I was growing up, where I was taught that we have the spirit in Mormonism, the true spirit to convert people, that we are different from other Christians. They have a portion of truth, but we have the true spirit of God, that when we speak about Joseph Smith and the first vision and the restoration and the Book of Mormon, that that spirit should come through and get across to people and that will soften their hearts and they will want to be converted. That proposition of what the church expects has failed. People don't want it, okay? That nobody wants you, Joseph Smith. We don't want your Book of Mormon. We don't want your racism. We don't want your polygamy. We don't want to have anything to do with that. Like Christ has a great brand overall. I mean, like I have some problems with the way that it's been practiced, but hey, Christ, people know who that guy is. They know what he's about. Getting people to be convinced that Joseph was a prophet and that the Book of Mormon is actually a historical record of ancient Native American Christian Jews whose skin turned dark. Uh, that's a little bit harder. So this is like an announcement where they're recognizing that what if the church itself, its proposition is so unappealing that yes, we spent millions of dollars to be like, I'm a Mormon campaign. We're Mormon, this is what Mormons stand for. And then for the very next prophet to be like, that didn't work. Let's just go the Christian route. Let's say Mormon, that's a win for Satan. We wanna be known as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, okay? If God constantly needs to rebrand and have a perception control around his children, that Mormon God needs 
PR help, okay? That if the Mormon church was founded on Joseph Smith and folk magic and rock in the hat and Christian mysticism and a remix of all this Hebrew and Freemasonry, God wanted, God Almighty wanted his restoration to be a mixture of all of those things. And then 200 years later, and we're getting ready for the return of Jesus Christ now, and he only has a fraction of a fraction of a percent of the global population. And his, his church is actually so unpopular, in fact, that it needs to rebrand enough to attach itself to the abomination, to the apostasy of which was the reason that it started in the first place. What does that tell you about how much truth that the Mormon church has? The only truth I think of the matter here is that this is a corporation. It has a hundred billion dollars and it has Jesus Christ's name attached to it. But what now do you do when money don't buy people? The very thing that the church is founded on in a resistance to is now what they have to align themselves with as a last ditch effort. Is it working?